Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Prescott Caliber Club. Today we are here with Brian from Breach Pen and we are going to um, basically go outside and do a training course on the pens themselves and how to cut them. But I wanted to give you guys a minute to uh, meet Brian, learn what he, what he does, what the company is all about and that kind of stuff and then we'll jump outside and we'll go uh, do some actual cutting. Yeah, so uh, Ryan's been awesome. This is uh, the Shop and Works, a work. pretty cool <laughs> spot here in Prescott, Arizona. We're going to take out uh, just a box of pens and go have some fun. We've got a good group of people here that we're going to certify. Um, autonomous cutting of metal, and this is something that really has extended into every market, you yeah. know, at least for preppers and obviously like yeah. daycares. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we have people who are, you know, carrying them in their trucks or in overland communities and, and for police forces and patrol and that type of stuff. So we're really trying not to pigeonhole where this tool belongs. and show it to people and kind of let the let the user innovate where it's going to go. So we have a great kind of diverse group of people in different industries and just interests who, who are out here and ready to freaking melt some metal. <laughs> oh, metal, hell yeah. yeah. So how did you get into this? Like where did you enter into the breach panel? Yeah man, so that was, uh, I was a pararescue unit course, 2017, um, making my exit and I had used the tool a little bit at that point. And uh, yeah, you know, kind of just entered the entrepreneurial. Yeah. Cause you, like you said, this was available in Europe prior, before. Yep, but... yeah, so technology was a Eastern European design originally and that's where um, I was stationed in, in England actually. Okay. So I, was, I had quick access over there yeah, and exit trips cool. and talked with the manufacturer and uh, yeah, we, uh, we ended up being able to communicate just around this tool and how to make it better for the operator and user. Cool. Well, for those of you who aren't aware, the breech pen is basically a thermal cutting tool. It can be put onto a plate carrier, stored away. It's not incendiary, so if you shoot it with a bullet or something like that, fall on it, I don't know, rub a match against it even, it's not going to go, right? Mm -hmm. Because you need a lot, a lot of heat to get this thing going. So we're going to take you guys outside now. We're going to show you this thing and show you how it works, how it cuts. Um, we'll probably screw up a little bit. We'll have some fun and uh, check it out. So let's go outside. Let's do it. This is the LTE or the training model. Still an effective tool. Uh, burns anywhere from 25 to 30 seconds. You can punch cut over an inch hard and steel with this. Uh, the next one up is the Gen 2. And the Gen 2 is anywhere from 45 to 53 seconds. It has some variability in it right now. But that one we're looking at increasing some power in it to cut two to three inches of steel later. Uh, the Gen 2, I think it's only two inches longer, two, three inches. So guys, I'd like to ask that if you enjoy the content here on the Prescott Caliber Club channel, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notifications bell icon to help keep you up to date with everything that we have going on right here at the Prescott Caliber Club. But this year, the biggest thing is commenting. That will keep us active and fresh in the YouTube algorithm. So if you have anything that you want to say, if you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, if you have expertise in the areas we're talking about, please let us know. Comment down below. That'll help us out. And we appreciate each and every one of you. Yeah, yeah, we've been doing um, single, vertical, and horizontal carry, and then we have something called the first, Res first responder breacher kit, which is two pens, a Broco Jimmy, and then a Mark V fire suppression on the outside with a sling carry, so it's something you can buy for your trucks. And your truck. So I don't know if y'all know, but Ryan's been selling the pen for well over a year. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a year and a half now. Yeah. yeah. So let me let me talk to that real quick. So when we started out. I was I was a PJ in the Air Force and I took this to Afghanistan and I was primary I was primarily using it to absolutely just like literally motorcycles or whatever would be on target. We'd stack it, I'd run up and I'd just like, take it down. I went to the International Breacher Symposium um, and got a lot of neutral perspective on it. And they saw this potential gap for where crisis absolute breaching has been something that like there has been a yeah. tool that is common to know. And that's where the like seeing me with like a sparkler just like <laughs> like a lot of SWAT guys who are used to the boons and stuff yeah. like yeah, kind of chuckle But like yeah the trainers came up and they were like dude like what you just did has something. Yeah. Like cool. stick with it, keep going, develop this thing up. Uh, any, any sort of like underwater capabilities? That's a great question. Day, we or... we get that a lot. Okay. Um, and it's 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 real uh, so if I were to light it and then go subsurface, I can make a cut. Okay. Um, power significantly decreased. 
Are you, are you joining us, sir? Nah, man, I was just saw a friend of my truck out here. Let's go. See what the hell you got. <laughs> <laughs> See what the hell you got. Back got here. Um, all right. Okay. Yeah, we got some more of these. And the Gen 2, probably than a little longer, for a longer one time, and like you said, maybe a little hotter. Um, yeah, longer burn time, just a different aesthetic. It's also okay. a little bit more redundant um, in mean? the way that we package it. Oh, okay. To protect it? Exactly. Okay, to cool. protect it and it's carrying. So you can, like, yeah. you know, the goal is to make this usable anywhere. I, I get, like, the bolt cutter argument all the time. And I'm like, yeah, if, if it's ever that perfect where you have, like, your Call of Duty tool shed in your freaking tool <laughs> tool pouch and I can pull out whatever I want yeah. to get through something, then sure. <laughs> I would be using the bolt cutter over my tool. Right. But the reality of the mission is you have to be, like, light, you have to be fast, and you have to be violent. And having a, something like this that you're not even thinking about when you're performing primary duties, and then you confront, it, uh, like, a problem yeah. that this can be, you're like, oh, I have that. Go and then you're, you're Is there a welder slash potential with this? Um, I've been cutting with white lens or clear lens and at night and stuff like that. Obviously, it's bright, so you get the pupil constriction and stuff like that. So it can absolutely destroy your your um, adjustment at night. But the big thing in wearing a tinted lens is to be able to see the cut because there is a lot of splash. It is white light emissions. Um, so I just recommend if you guys are making cuts, especially training, like throw a good tinted lens on so you can visualize that cut point well. See how the slag reacts to your angle and your force, and that really does help like, just the efficacy of training. Um, All right, so I've already um, one thing I like to do. There's this lip right here on the plunger. I seat that inside the sheath, and it just gives it a little bit more security. Um, I hold offhand. It's always how I'm going to start my breech bend. Well, my plan. You know, this could go wrong. <laughs> but oops, you probably yeah. Choking up. Not super concerned about like the heat affecting my hand at this point. I want it in my working space. Rod tip down. The goal is to have a successful light. I've seen a lot of people whether or not make contact with the match on the tip and then not track the fire along the tip. You have to make contact has to be like a good rod tip down. Thermite's not easy to ignite. That's just like the reality of it. Um, and the fact that we have a match that can do it, it's pretty badass. How does the match get that hot? Magic. See. <laughs> That's the secret. That's the secret. <laughs> All right, so dropping the match, super important step. Unfortunately, there are folks that forget that and it's very self-critiquing. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't really cut through a lot of pipe, but I guess with something like this, I'm just kind of like playing the angles and letting that slag work for me as I'm cutting. What's really important is using this angle right here to direct slag. And I'm really, I'm pressing in, but not like ferociously hard. Oh. So guys, if you're really enjoying the content here on the Prescott Caliber Club channel and you'd like to give back, if you'd like to help support the channel, jump in the description section down below where there's a number of different ways that you can save some money. But each time you do, it also kicks back a little bit of money our way to help PCC fund what it takes to make a YouTube channel like this. If you're looking for a VPN service, that's there. If you're looking for an EMP shield, that's there. Stinger rail system, no problem. Mountain house freeze dry food, we got you. Just want to shop Amazon? Click our Amazon link. Each time you click one of those links, it kicks back either some funds, some credits, some something back to the Prescott Caliber Club channel. Uh oh, it's close. 
It's actually got a lot more run time than that. Yeah. Wow. So that's where I throw it down and spray it with my... Let you run these things, Moses. <laughs> Maybe <just a> bit. <laughs> <laughs> How would you disable a vehicle? Put it to the driver's head. Hey, first confirm kill with the breach pen. <laughs> there, there's, there's some boxes that are involved. <laughs> um, so with the chain, what I'm going for is a link that's oriented to where I can basically like drop a rod through it. So not the vertical ones, the horizontal links. And I'm gonna just take down one side at a time. What I'm concerned about, because there's two cuts to be made, if I'm making on a top link or a vertically or oriented link, the slag will fall onto the next one and almost like spot weld the ends. Still possible to make the cut, but you're gonna have to stay super clean with your contact. I could grab here and here if I'm cutting on this one. It's about a two link two weeks standoff and it's not going to be too hot to grab. Alright, where's you see where the fire's starting there? I'm going to just touch that right to the edge. So this is where I'm kind of adding that counter pressure. And you'll feel it too because it's, it's pretty wild. Um, I mean obviously as you're pulling one direction, it's adding some sort of force. And so as the metal's heating up, that can basically be finishing your cut. Just you like twisting and adding some torque to it. Um, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, I absolutely recommend getting some chain cuts and pick some because that's a that's a good that's a good size chain. Um, so I pick pick something like that. And, um, the trainers like the the Gen Two. That's why we we are advertising the Gen Two is the operational one because you have another twenty seconds of burn. Yeah, yeah, you got time to make a mistake. Exactly, you have thing. time. Slow down, make good contact, do what you need to do to manipulate it. Have as much of that planned out first, but that's why the LTE is so good is because like. You actually don't have as much time, but you can still get through stuff like that. Okay.
Yeah, you gotta press in pretty hard there. There you go. You have been through. Seconds. You have somebody wants to come in? All right. Yeah, it's hot. And I cut. That's the best way to get the bottom of the straight through. I think still vertical. Probably really? get the coming in. It's going to hot. Myself out. Uh, Let's take. All right. So this is this is the densest alloy I think we have. Yeah. So there you have it, breech pen, thermal cutting. Brian from breech pen, it was fun, it was awesome. Yeah, no, I had a blast <laughs> out there. I mean, we got to we got to do what we came to do, surf us people, add some extra pens, and yeah, just absolutely. we put the fires out. We did put the fires <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah. It's the most Always important ready thing. For that. Respect the slack. Absolutely. Yeah, love Arizona. Great right. place. Yeah. All right, guys, you have a good one. See you guys.